Hello everybody. Uh, today's video I will be talking about cholesterol. I will be talking about cholesterol. Uh, for the past uh, 20 over years, we have been grilled in our mind. There are two types of uh, cholesterol. One is the bad cholesterol and one is the good cholesterol. So, uh, Today I'll be touching on these two items. Okay? Now, our body requires lots and lots of cholesterol because every cell in our body uh, requires cholesterol to construct. Without cholesterol, uh, there is no way uh, we can live because uh, the building block of our body is actually cholesterol. Every cell will have a casing of cholesterol around it. Now, <clears throat> where does cholesterol come from? Actually, it comes from, uh, like we say, fat. Okay? Uh, and uh, most of the cholesterol is, doesn't come from food. You'll be very surprised. Every cell can produce its own cholesterol. Liver produces about 75% of the cholesterol and uh, part of it is also created by the intestine. Okay, so the, the biggest manufacturer of cholesterol is actually the liver. Okay, by itself it can create cholesterol. And the balance of the cholesterol is actually from food. Meaning to say, even if we don't take zero, we don't take any uh, fat and all that, our body is still able to uh, create the cholesterol. And if we don't care about our diet, we just eat uh, whatever we want, we, we still don't have enough cholesterol. No matter how we eat, we still don't have enough cholesterol. Therefore, whatever we, we um, what you call that? Insufficient cholesterol from our daily food in intake. Yeah. If we don't eat enough fat, yeah, it will, the, the liver will produce. Okay, the liver will produce. Now, for the past 20 years, uh, a lot of people, because of this good and bad cholesterol, uh, they have been, uh, what you call that, uh, reducing their intake of cholesterol. Fat, okay. Now, when they reduce, the liver have to produce more. Okay, so you are actually putting a lot of work stress onto the liver. And during this uh, past twenty years, uh, they noticed that a lot of people uh, get liver damage. Yeah, liver damage because the liver is overworking. Oh, this one cannot eat, that one cannot eat. At the end of the day, uh, Whatever the cholesterol required by the body, yeah, the liver will have to manufacture. Okay, so it becomes very important for the FDA in America to come out with a new guide guideline that you know uh, recognize recognize the role of the liver. Yeah, so uh, like egg egg yolk, a lot of people try to avoid egg yolk now. In uh, the latest guideline in uh, 2015, oh, egg yolk is a good source of protein. You can go ahead and eat. Yeah, it doesn't contribute much to your cholesterol level. Now, what makes us think that there is good and bad uh, cholesterol? First, we must understand fat is required by the body, but it is not easily transported because it's fat and water don't mix. Yeah? So our blood is more like uh, water. So there is no way you can transport fat into the uh, bloodstream and circulate it all around the, the cell. Not possible. So you need a transporter. And that transporter is a protein. Okay? Oh, that transport is a protein. So here you need a fat. It cannot go inside your body. So here you have the protein. Okay? And this protein is like a vehicle. Okay, it's like a vehicle, so the, the, the fat will go inside this uh, protein 
So they give it a new name. They call it lipoprotein. Lipo means fat. Okay. Uh, so the fat protein. So the fat sits inside the protein and move. And during the uh, early study of lipoprotein, they they recognize two lipoprotein. One that transport it from the liver to the rest of the body, and they call it low density lipoprotein (LDL). Low density, and the thing that brings it back, okay, it brings it back, uh, is called high density lipoprotein. Okay, so in a nutshell, anything that delivers uh, cholesterol into the body must be bad. Anything that brings it back must be good. Mm. This is wrong thinking, like, You know why fat had to be cholesterol had to be transported throughout the body is because it is required. Okay, it's required. So did somebody have to do the job of bringing it to the various cell? And of course, somebody had to bring it back, lah. Okay. So during the early days, uh, LDL is considered bad and HDL is considered good. Okay. So now, after years of study, we we notice it's not just LDL and HDL. No, there are so many different different types of lipoprotein. Okay. And uh, how do they classify? Oh, in a nutshell, yeah. In a nutshell. Uh, if, if this lipoprotein contains more protein, then they call it HDL. HDL, okay? More protein and less fat. And LDL contains more fat and less uh, protein. So LDL. And, and in between, they, they have so many uh, other lipoprotein. They have the intermediate uh, density lipoprotein, which is IDL. And they also have the very low density lipoprotein VLDL so science keep on finding new new uh, lipo, new type of lipoprotein uh, basically it's just a dif different percentage of protein uh, being transport around your body okay so it comes out this way now uh, during the good old days when they take your blood they found that you have a lot of LDL, okay. They found out you have a lot of LDL in your body. So what they give you? They give you a drug, okay, medication that's block, uh, block the liver from delivering LDL. So this becomes a problem, you see, because later on you will find that the the, the liver, the, the the liver will get confused. You know, on one hand, there's a signal to say that, oh, you need more cholesterol. On the other hand, something else is blocking it. Okay? So, this is not the right way, you know, right way to solve the problem. The right way to solve the problem is the liver. You look at the liver. The liver is the one that produces, you know, LDL, produce HDL, uh, VLDL. IDL, uh, all these lipoprotein is manufactured by the, the liver. And why the liver produces this? Because there's a signal to say that, okay, I need so much of this LDL, I need so much of HDL. So instructions come from the brain and then it comes out. But why sometimes the liver didn't produce the type of lipoprotein that is required in the body? That is because the liver is not functioning properly. Yeah, they have a, some kind of a manufacturing breakdown. We don't know. It's just like any factory. Once you have a manufacturing breakdown, you don't produce the parts that you want. You just produce. so the way to solve high cholesterol in your body, where you have a lot of LDL, is to make sure the uh, liver is functioning properly. Your small intestine is functioning properly. Okay, so this is where uh, Shakti comes in because Shakti has the DXL. This DXL is fantastic. It tones your body and keep your uh, liver. Yeah, it, it tones your liver and keep it 
uh, functioning properly so that it doesn't have much uh, manufacturing defect. Okay, you, you, you have to do that. Then you also uh, need to, to add into your, your food supplement the cocutrol. Cocutrol. Yeah, cocutrol is actually cocutin. It is like a spark plug for the cell. Okay, so you need to make your cell active. Okay, so that he can receive and discharge cholesterol as and when uh, is required. Yeah, if, when they require, you take more. When you don't, you can discharge. So you need the spark plug. Okay, and that is uh, you can get it from Shackley CoQ Drone. Okay, so basically, other than taking uh, this food supplement from Shackley here, uh, HDL you can help by increasing HDL. Okay, by exercising, very important. That is one sure way of increasing your HDL. Uh, uh, doctors have found that when the more you exercise, the more HDL your body produces. Always remember, lipoprotein is also manufactured by your body. It's also manufactured by your body. Okay, other than from food, they can manufacture themselves. And exercising, uh, they found, uh, brings up the level of HDL. Uh, so it's very important you have your regular uh, exercise and remember cholesterol not from food lah, huh? the new guideline says uh, you can cut down on sugar cut down on salt uh, maybe cut down on saturated fat okay but most of the food is still safe for you lah, huh? happy eating